Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the Rick DS 2. Thought I wasn't going to get it, and then I dropped it in a silver box while I was doing my dailies. So, good luck on my part, which, nice to have some of that this week. Um, Rick DS 2 is, this is the level 2, it's 650, it's a raid with three melee swings. Um, it has most of the same abilities as the standard Rick DS. It does not have be the beam pistols, but it does have the Vulcan Phalanx. And it also has a twin beam rifle prototype, very similar to the double Zetas in form. In use, it it works fairly differently. It uh, Let me draw that down for a second. Uh, when uncharged, it stuns. When charged, it causes heavy stagger and overheats. So it's an interesting beast. Um, it also ha does have the bird lime launcher, which i got to be careful fighting in the water here because I got myself killed once... Uh, Trying to use that underwater does not work. Okay, nearly uh, got hit by a game alk, which I'll hit it right back. 42 48, and pulling back is kind of in front of a firing line. That's not a good place for a raid to be. It has forced injector 2, it has maneuver armor 2, so it has uh, some good other good uh, skills for uh, boosting, maneuvering, and uh, leg, def uh, leg and binder defense, I believe. So it's pretty good all in all. I think the game off went up there. I'm going to take a chance, and I'm going to try and get up there and see if that is in fact what I can. Uh, what is up here? Um, looks like number one, who is a Gelgug High Mobility, had the same thought. Which stick my neck out. Don't see anybody moving forward. I'll tag on with number one because not uh, doing this on my own is well the smarter choice anyway. So I'm going to come back down here. See if we can uh, surround the person. Tag them. Phalanx ready. It is a game off, so I can finish it off with those pretty quick. Okay, Gilga got it. That's fine, too. Rifle and Vulcan Phalanx both uh, uh, both needing to uh, recharge. There we go. Got a Totus Ritter here as well. At least we're all together. I'm going to head back towards uh, number six, who just spawned in as well, because they seem to be coming in on us, so a big group would be useful. Okay, tagged its shield. It's a Zeta gun, in my belief. Might be a, one of the Zeta pluses. Not 100% sure. Either way, I'm backing off. Uh, let's see, it's got to be the A1 if it is a Zeta plus, because the C1 does, has the beam smart gun in lieu of a shield. Let's just run away, because there is uh, support fire coming in. And, well, so far this round's been a lot more pleasant. The uh, team is a little bit spread out, but it hasn't cost us dearly yet, which... Uh, has happened in the last couple I... Oh, hi, Game Elk. Has happened in the last couple I tried to do. Um, oh, yeah. It's a Vulcan Phalanx, so I can use it while moving. I can also use this while moving. Pretty good melee. 6100 on a downed Game Elk, which has very low... Oh, hi, from people from the side. Well, you dropped your... Uh, oops, got, it got its pressure uh, ability off. Stun. Yep, that stuns. And now you... And into the uh, bird line. And pulling back. Kind of hard to talk while I'm doing this, because raids are a little bit more movement intensive than sports. And also, it's just, I'm tired, long week, and trying to concentrate well enough to speak. Which, so far, so good. Ow. Just took a shot. Minor shot, and not, you know, not the drinking game way. Backed into a pilot, though. I'll take it. It's a success. And, oh, hi. Hello, person next to me. Hello, the O. It got the drop on me pretty hard, and I did dodge roll, but it managed to get uh, get me before I could get it. I mean, to be fair, it can swing pretty much in any direction with all of those sabers, so it, it's that's a thing. But yeah, I uh, could definitely be going worse. 7,600 to 3,200. The team is doing a good job of staying together, which, like I said, puts it head and shoulders above any team I've played with so far tonight. This is like my third attempt to get this. I did okay in the first two, but I did not, uh, ah, I could do better, and I did not keep my cool while I was playing, honestly, because, ah, just stuff, and also because when you are down a thousand points and the round is almost over, you push. You don't just hang back and kind of dither while your raid pushes and gets himself killed. You push. I was the raid, obviously. But, yeah, just don't, don't do that. Hello! Okay, no, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna leave then. 
And got some good air, but I am surrounded and getting hit by funnels. Probably got locked onto by the Game Ox Child funnels. And, uh, incidentally, I did check out that, uh, twin beam, uh, spear, uh, beam toothpick, basically, that the, uh, Gaz L can use, and what it does is it, uh, it, uh, basically makes it into a more, uh, traditional melee raid. It, uh, uh, gives it the ability to, uh, do two, three hit melee combos in a row, but you can't, don't have a power attack to charge at that point, so... Okay, there's only two of us, and there's five of them. There's one of me, and there's five of them. But I might just stick my nose out and try to keep them occupied in, in the support fire. Not going to work, and I'm probably going to die here, because they're not only not in the support fire, they're hitting me pretty hard. I do need help here, but you're going down. Got the, uh, got the Zeta Plus down, and got killed for the effort. Yeah, so now they've taken the lead, because my team uh, lost that uh, stick-together ability that was... Uh, doing so well for us. I was part of that, so no, you know, no harm done. Basically, by the time I spawned in, they were all uh, dead, I think. But yeah, we do need to bunch up now, because we were doing really well when we're bunched up. We're not bunched up, and we're not doing well. So, you know, the, this is pretty simple math, really. So yeah, bunch up. Number five is not bunching up. Number four is not bunching up. I'm going to go meet with no, actually, I'm going to uh, spawn in by five. We can probably... That looks like the best uh, angle by which I can uh, do anything useful here. Okay, that person's dead. Here comes everybody. But everybody includes the game off, which is now heavy staggered. And down. And hopefully about to die. Yep, there we go. Good. Okay, let's see if I can... Uh, oops, too far away. Not really prepared for that. Let's see if I can align this GPO here. Nope, cannot, but I can get stunned. And not get unstunned in time to tackle, and... Okay, well, somebody now is interested in dealing with that GPO 3 now that it's knocking to the ground. Well, you guys can have that. I'm just going to go over here, because the support fire is coming out. So, you all seem to think you know how to deal with that guy. And it does not involve keeping him from hitting me, so I'll be over here now, thanks. Alright, I'll go back. Maybe I can... Nope, somebody else got the kill. That's fine, we're sticking together. 40 seconds left and we've got a 5,000 point lead. Not insurmountable. Not at these costs. So we do need to stay close, which we seem to be doing. Number one, I think, yeah, number one was starting to drift over that way, but I'm just going to stay here. Uh, didn't get much good use out of the bird line, but ta didn't tag that person. 20 seconds left. Not a good time to get adventurous. Just going to hang back and see what I can do with my Vulcans, because I don't want to get close. And... Let's see, have some lime, nope, no lime for them, and stun, nope, well, we bounced because we each had melee priority 3, and I do not have time to kill the O, but I do have time to keep it busy so it can't kill me, so that is going to do it, I think. I did fairly well, I got some good kills off, I probably got more kills than the previous one, but again, we just blew it at the last second because we couldn't hold it together. But I did good damage and good assist, 76,000 damage, 780 assist. And the Gilgug who was with me got top score, so that works for me. Uh, one kill and two deaths, that will do for a start. And yeah, that is going to do it for this live commentary round of the Rick DS2. And till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! So yeah, if, I, if I'm a little snippy, if I'm a little tired, and if I'm, uh, you know, just not playing well, it's been a long week. Uh, my grandfather died on Monday. I'm just still kind of trying to deal with that. And we weren't exactly close, but it's still the kind of thing that puts you in a weird brain split, uh, space. So I'm in a weird brain space. And it's, you know, ah, it's just been a week. And I'm tired. And I'm just glad that round went as well as it did.